What's up guys, LP here. I wanna show you guys my default settings for Aether SX2 since uh, enough time's been out and I kinda got you know a little bit little stable setup here. So let me show you guys real quick. So uh, let me just go ahead and load up Battlefront 2 so you guys can see the settings I have for that. Now, this is the biggest part right here. See, I'm playing on a Galaxy Z Fold 3. So I would say if you have any of the newer Samsung Galaxy devices, like in that range, I'm not saying like the Fold 3 exactly, but I would say at least the S20, maybe slightly under that. I don't know. I'm, I'm usually the PC gamer, you know, but uh, okay. So this is the big, big one right here. I was getting like, let's say drops to 50% speed until I dropped this from a hundred and underclocked it to 50% and you need that. I would keep this on zero unless you're still having trouble reaching a hundred. I would maybe put it on one. If you see improvement, but not enough, maybe put it on two. I will stay away from this on fighting games though. Cause it will, it's basically frames given. Um, uh, I put my normal speed up to like 103. You can experiment with that a little bit because, you know, PS2 games do have like some slowdown. So you might, you might want to up that a little bit. And then, yeah, just copy like the rest of these at the bottom. Uh, those two, um, unless you feel like your process, process is like slow as shit, maybe turn off the affinity control. But yeah, you know, most most of the time I'm running bulking at two times upscale. Uh, that usually works. Other than um, what's the game that didn't work? GTA Three actually crashes in OpenGL. Keep that in mind. And uh, for yeah, Battlefront Two, you want to do Vulcan. Otherwise, you'll get graphical issues in OpenGL. But yeah, I've been I've been pretty much like, you know, testing a lot of this stuff. These are pretty much what I have. You know, so show CPU uses that'll help you. Like if you're doing a lot of benchmarking, but, you know, if you got if you got your setup, you can turn that off. Uh, blending accuracy, I have it on medium. Uh. And then, you know, all those at the bottom are experimental, but like these are safe settings though. Okay, I didn't mess with none of this. This is all default. I believe upscaling hacks I turned on. Uh, Preload frame data, you can experiment with that, but I, ha I just left it off and I'm I have no issues, you know. Uh, disable save features if you're having st like major slowdown still. Uh, you know, that will cause more glitches if you turn that off. And uh, let's see. I don't really have a GPU bottleneck or anything. So threaded presentation. I'm. I think default that was off. So if it's off, you can just leave it off unless you know, you know what you're doing. But yeah, just leave that leave that off. That's just me messing with shit. Okay, and now I'm looking for one more menu. One more to show you guys. The, the speed hacks menu or something. It's still a little bit difficult like going through these, especially when the list doesn't start at the top. Sometimes you gotta scroll up. But yeah, um, for the most part, it's straightforward. This is the most important part right here to remember. Uh, also, Again, if you have a weaker CPU that enable multi-threaded VU1, maybe that should stay off. Only if you got a stronger phone or a tablet, you know, turn that on. Some of those uh, 
you know, settings that take advantage of your hardware. Yeah, like I said, all this is left alone. And yeah, like certain games might need you to take some of this stuff. If you already use PCSX2 on uh, your computer, you should know about these settings here. So yeah, like these are with those really tough games that have problems. But that's basically 